Welcome to Emerson Middle School Industrial Technology Department. As you can see here, we are working on our drawings in mechanical drawing. Whoa! We're doing a geometric drawing here using our T-square and triangles. This is our sixth grade, two and a half weeks of drafting in sixth grade. As you can see, they're using their 45 degree triangle, use a T-square. Okay. So we spent two and a half weeks here, and then we're going to go across the hallway. And we're going to do two and a half weeks of woodworking. Come along with Mr. Semp as we explore our different areas. This is our seventh and eighth grade, our seventh and sixth grade woods lab. Come on in. Take a look at all the hand tools they get to use. Okay. For their pen sets, they have 10 different shapes to choose from. We use a cross cut saw for cutting across the grain to doing our shapes of our pen sets. We got to use the coping saw, which is a much narrower blade to cut out shapes. We then use a hand drill and a 5 30 second twist bit. After we got a hole drill, then we do our nice wood burning. Wood burning can be hard to do. And practicing here is the most important things. It is hot. From there, we then go to our plastics, keychain, one to your bag. Now we're going into the staining room. Sir, you ready to stain? Come on in. The staining room is another valuable area in which we work in. Okay, so we don't have to wear our safety glasses for staining as long as we keep the stain on to our rags. There are three different stains that you can use. There's a natural stain, a cherry stain, and a walnut stain. Let's put your name on this. First name and last name, and your period number. The different stains are over here. Natural, cherry, and walnut. We're using a softer type of wood, which is called pine. I believe it's called the ponderosa pine. Of course, anytime you use stain, you always want to wash your hands. Okay. Here is our eighth grade wood lab, in which many of the students sign up for in eighth grade. They also sign up for eighth grade plastic. I teach 8th grade wood. In this class, it's a 12 weeks class where you get to make hand woodworking single piece projects. We also then do multi piece projects where the students get to learn two machines. You get to use the jigsaw, which replaces the coping saw. This is a very hard tool to master in 6th grade. So by the time they get in eighth grade, they get to use a power tool of the jigsaw to cut out their different shapes. Here are some of the projects that they get to cut out in eighth grade with the machine. You got shelves, paper towel holders, napkin holders, banana holders. They can design their own shapes. Two machines they get to use in this phase. Phase number three, they get to use drill presses instead of using the hand drill. And they get to use this beautiful jigsaw, which is very easy to use in cutting out a piece of wood. Of course, you have to have safety goggles on whenever you're using a machine. And of course, it's easy to cut out a piece of wood. So, you start the button, always make sure you turn the handle of the motor. And it's like a big sewing machine. I'm going to cut on this line here. It's very easy to use. The slower you go, the better you can stay on your line. Of course, if you look at my fingers, they're way away from the blade so that you don't get, have to get any stitches. In my 24 years of teaching, I would say only less than two handfuls ever had to get stitches. So that is less than 10 people out of about 2,000 students. Got to keep it tight to the base. If you don't, it makes a lot of noise and everyone will look at you. By eighth 
great, your motor skills are real good. And you notice how nice and easy it is to cut up projects. Of course, a safe machine, one that is clean. So you always brush it off for the next student. A clean shop is a safe shop. Signing off from Emerson Middle School, Mr. Self, thank you very much for your time and watching this video. <laughs>